fans. Uh, let's play ball. And at forward at 6'9 from Kentucky, number 30, Julio Randle. At center, at 7 feet, number 33, Patrick Ewing. Three-point goal, Dan. Welcome back to MSGPM, presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. That is the legendary Knicks PA announcer, Mike Wyshevsky, joining us today. And Mike, as a longtime 2K fan and a lifelong Knicks fan, seeing you and hearing you in this game is a dream <laughs> come true. What was it like for you to be in this incredible video game series? It was actually a, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, we uh, it, The recording sometime was a little bit long and tedious. Uh, I recorded approximately mm -hmm. 10,000 phrases over the period of a week. Um, <clears throat> so it was a little bit of work. And wow. it was actually right in the middle of the playoffs, uh, playoff series. So uh, somehow, we, somehow we did it. Um, it was done for me remotely, um, so we had a studio set up in my home. But the the producers in California, my producers there, were amazing. We actually spent half the time having fun, and uh, and when I uh, discovered how how this was all going to come together, I still don't have the full understanding. But the game is out now, so but it. Yeah, I think I think it's a great thing for all the PA announcers to be there because there's an element of authenticity in the game that uh, that now is there rather than a generic voice, and uh, and that's mm -hmm. that's really I think the best part about it. So for Knicks fans growing up, you're synonymous with the team, with MSG, all of it, the nostalgia, everything. What was it like for you to get that job initially? And what was the process like? Were you nervous when you were interviewing? Take us through what that was like for you. Well, uh, I'll, I'll condense it. Uh, back in college, I was sports director of WFUV, the Fordham University station, you know, and that's produced Mike Breen and obviously other guys. And a guy by the name of John Cirillo uh, back in the late 80s was VP of PR for the Knicks. And John Condon, my predecessor, who had been doing it since day one, 1946, uh, had become ill. And uh, they said, uh, we need a backup. Can you, can you audition as his backup? And uh, in fact, I did. Uh, the Garden had a lot of high school prelim games back at, at that time. And about six or seven of us auditioned uh, with, with Nick executives at the time you know, scattered in the stands. And uh, was I nervous? Uh, yeah, I had done some PA announcing in college, uh, some for the long defunct U.S. Uh, United States Basketball League uh, uh, 30 years ago, uh, over 30 years ago. And, uh, but, but I was confident, you know, I had done it. And then they finally said to me after John Condon uh, uh, had passed away over the summer, do you want the, the full-time job? And that was back in the summer of 1989, and, uh, and, you, and you haven't, haven't looked caught back on to the since, fact that I'm there. <laughs> no, <laughs> you haven't looked back since. We are so out of time, but we're gonna have more oh, with no. you all season long. New York City, yes. thank you so You're much. You're coming for back, tuning. Mike. You're thank you. Get NBA 2K22 right now. My name is Kazim Fahmiwude. That is Michelle Gingras. That is the legendary Mike Wachowski. We'll see you soon, New York City. Peace out. <laughs>